will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able. Scare the monsters under your bed. Deep in the biting, liking for you is all I need. Until my heart gives in. Today is going to be my first day in the life with a newborn. I am bringing Landon to school right now. This is on a tripod. And now I'm going to Jude school now, right? Jude school? Yeah. Um, so I'm bringing Landon to school right now and then literally right after I have an appointment for Lincoln. So I'm headed right to school and then right to the pediatrician office. Landon school starts at 9.15 and the appointment is at 9.30. So I'm leaving a bit early this morning just so I can be like the first one from the drop off line. Oh my gosh, this sun is killer. Hi little schmoochie poo. My little linky roo. So we're here for Lincoln's two week checkup. I'm currently nursing him, just waiting for the doctor to come in. It usually takes them a minute. Gold rings. Gold rings. Gold anything. Gold. I'll follow you. We're back home now and it's been about two hours. Yeah. And Darren and Hudson are just watching a movie and I am laying here editing the beginning of this vlog just to keep up with everything. But his appointment went really well. He's not quite yet two weeks. So he's 10 days old and they said everything looks great. His belly button um, cord, his umbilical cord still hasn't fallen off yet. So in a couple of days that should fall off. And then I can give him his first ever bath because I still have yet to bathe him. I haven't bathed him yet um, just because of like cradle cap reasons. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that before. Take a nap. Gosh, you're so crazy. I need pants. Whose pants are these? from his nap right now Lincoln is still sleeping I just heard him poop though so I'm going to change him I also need to wash my haka it's in this bag right here every time I'm done using my haka I put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the uh, fridge so I don't have to wash it every single time 
Um, so I'm going to do that and then I just made the kids fries and chicken nuggets and I'm also going to eat it myself because I am really, really, really hungry and we're just waiting for Landon to get home from school and yeah. There you go. Here's your papa. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming. Golden, I'll follow on the golden. Golden, golden things. I just finished eating and I thought he was going to be hungry, but I changed his diaper. And look how small these are. They're so tiny. Um, I changed his diaper and I tried to feed him and he was not hungry. So I'm just going to wait. But this transition from three to four is probably the hardest transition that I've experienced. I feel like the first three. Okay, actually, I feel like first time mom like landon and lincoln have been like my hardest um and not baby wise just like the whole adjustment period was really tough with landon because i was a first time mom and now that i have three other kids like this adjustment is really hard and people always say like two to three is the hardest and anything after three is like just a walk in the park um whoever said that is a freaking liar because <laughs> Um, I am struggling. I am in full-blown survival mode. And I mean, it doesn't help that we're literally like just moving into a new place. But I don't know. I think it's just harder because the boys are older. So Landon's already picked Lincoln up twice, which, oh my gosh, literally gave me a heart attack. And we had to like sit him down and really talk to him because he was just trying to help. But we had to like tell him like it's not okay to pick him up because of his neck and stuff. And then I have Hudson, who's a full-blown, like, Viking and just wants to, like, throw things at him for some reason. Because Hudson loves to throw toys. He thinks it's so funny. Like, even if he's just throwing it in the air, like, he thinks it's hilarious. And he already hooked something right at Lincoln, like, the fourth day home. He was from the literally the opposite end of the room and just threw it right in the bassinet. And it's been a lot. It's definitely been hard. Um, I'm just hoping things get a little bit easier. The boys seem to be adjusting a lot better right now. Um, I just have to give everyone some grace because everyone's going through a transition right now and I guess I feel more stressed because I don't completely feel like myself. And, you know, I'm tired a lot more. And yeah, that's kind of like the update. It's a lot. It's a lot right now. It definitely helps with Landon being in school, but um, other than that, I don't know. He is such a good baby. He really is a good baby. He's only waking about twice in the night right now um, to feed. He does go pretty long stretches, but he is already at 8 pounds, 2 ounces, so he's gained a lot of weight back. Um, but he's just so good, and he loves to sleep with me. Do you let it sleep with me? <laughs> Wide awake and ready to eat. I tried to feed you earlier. You were passed out. All right, so I have my haka here. I'm gonna put it on the other side and <laughs> nurse him. <laughs> okay, so I have Lincoln here on my bed and he is feeling fussy even though I just fed him. Completely on both sides. Burped him. I just think he's still gassy. We're still having problems with that. But there we go. Besides the gassiness. Um, to show you guys our setup. I have the Daka Tot right here on my bed. And then I have this super adorable little bathroom. It is zero to nine months. So it's kind of big. But I think it's so cute. My mother-in-law got it. And has like these cute little blue alligators on it. 
I just think it's really cute for first bath time picture. And then under it, I just have this waterproof liner so he doesn't like pee on this or get it wet or anything. And then I obviously have a diaper ready. I have his copper and pearl swaddle. This is in um, the print peanut. Oh no, you grabbed it. Here you go. Mm, there you go. And then I just have his onesie, which has these cute little like, what are these, like llamas, alpacas? I don't know. But um, it also has mittens. I did just clip his nails though a couple days ago. So they are um, pretty short, but just in case I want to use the ones with mittens. And then in here is my whole bath time caddy. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it below for you guys if you're interested in where I got it. But the first thing I just have is this muslin cloth. And this is what I'm going to use to like drape across him. And then I also have a bunch of these washcloths, which these are in like the same print as the hooded bathrobe. I also have these Frida Baby, like, what is this, head to toe bath brush. It's for a cradle cap. So it comes with two brushes in one storage case, which is cool. And then I also have a baby hairbrush in here, which is perfect because he has a good amount of hair on his head. And the bristles are super, super soft. And then, oh, we're struggling. And then in here, I just have his soap. So I use Tubby Todd, and I use their fragrance-free. So this is like their bath wash, and then their fragrance-free lotion. And then I also have their all-over ointment, which is going to come in handy because he has a little bit of baby um, acne going on. I feel like it's not as bad as it was earlier today. You probably can't even see because of the lighting in here, but he had like little bumps all over his face. Like he has some right here and a little bit of, you know, dry patch on his nose. But yeah, that's basically my setup. It's really simple. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to use this. If he's like super, super fussy and unhappy, I won't use the bathrobe. I won't do that to him. There will be plenty of opportunities for bath time photos. Um, so I might just toss that aside, but... I'm going to change his diaper, not put one on. I'm just going to take this off, wrap him in this, and bring my caddy upstairs. And I will bring his binky as well, just so he's not super fussy. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope.
What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. It's all clean. Mm -hmm. the everyday lotion on his legs and his feet and the bathrobe actually serves a good purpose to like keep him warm while I do this oh look at the little baby toes little feet are so small I wish they didn't have to be kept away in little footy pajamas all the time Oh, got some dry toes, huh? Some dry toes. Oh, your feet are cold. All right, I'm just going to put on some of this all over ointment. Probably should have opened this beforehand, but his forehead is really dry. I like using fragrance free because I don't want that newborn smell to be compromised because <laughs> I absolutely love his smell so I'll only use fragrance free on him I'll also put some on his eyebrows because I notice it gets really dry in those areas on newborns at least my newborns their eyebrows always get like really flaky and that's just because they lose so much skin and like they have all that peach fuzz that they lose. Yeah. You did so good. I thought you were going to be a screamer. Yeah.